What's up guys, back with another video. And today's video is another episode of Today in Tech. Now if you guys enjoyed Today in Tech, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And also let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section. Now our first story is pretty interesting coming from Samsung. They are looking to release their own version of Google Glass and they're targeting September for their release date. Now you can pretty much ensure that Samsung's gonna unveil Galaxy Glass at the IFA Trade Center in Berlin this year. Now reports are showing that Galaxy Glass will be able to connect to your smartphone, showing you notifications, alerts, and you'll also be able to handle calls as well as music. Now Samsung was granted a patent last year for sports glasses that look pretty interesting, so this might be the first drawing and the first look of what we can expect from Galaxy Glass. Next up, the Samsung Galaxy Gear Smartwatch 2 is said to be released sometime in March or April with a bendable display. Now the Galaxy Gear 2 is said to be completely redesigned, really thin this time, as well as no screws on the front plate. It is also said to adapt usability with more smartphones. Now it is said that the Galaxy Gear 2 will be running a more full version of Android and will also possibly be waterproof. Next up, the HTC M8 is going to feature on-screen buttons. Now, up to this point, HTC has went with physical buttons on the One lineup. And we can gather this from the HTC One, the HTC One Mini, and the HTC One Max. But when new reports are showing, the new M8 will have on-screen buttons. While some people think the HTC will display the phone at MWC in Barcelona, others believe that a special event might be coming at the end of Q1. Microsoft today renamed SkyDrive to OneDrive. Now the software giant has registered the domain OneDrive.com and the company has a promotional video on YouTube announcing the change. Now the name change comes more than six months after Microsoft was forced to change the name due to patent issues and reports are showing that Microsoft did not want to change the name. Now it looks like Microsoft is on a little bit of a spending spree as they acquire Gears of War from Epic Games. Now Gears of War is not the first franchise that Microsoft has acquired. They actually acquired Halo as well. Today Google acquired all startup DeepMind for over $500 million, which in my opinion is a real Skynet company. Now this company that Google acquired has been linked to everything from artificial skin tissue to actual robotics. Now it is said that DeepMind combines machine learning and neuroscience. Next up are the Google Play Edition phones, the end of the line for the Nexus lineup. Now if you ask me, I would hate to see the awesome Nexus lineup leave. However, there is a little bit of logic for Google to keep just a Google Play Edition phone rather than the Nexus devices around. Another leaked red Nexus 5 picture shows up showing boxes and boxes of Nexus 5s ready to ship out. The leaked photographs show labels showing LG as well as a 16 gigabyte configuration. It also shows a couple of IMEI numbers and the potential countries that the boxes will be shipped off to. Now the availability of the red Nexus 5 has not officially been announced, but I think it will be announced close to Valentine's Day. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me on this episode of Today in Tech. Remember, if you guys do enjoy these episodes, be sure to drop a thumbs up down below and also leave me a comment down in the comments section. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. Be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.